Hello everyone and welcome to Body Bags. I'll be your reviewer for today. I'm Lonnie from Terran Tats. And uh, I'm sure you've already know that this week we've been reviewing horror films from the year 1941. And uh, 1941. Now I'm, now I'm in the mood to watch that movie. Especially after I got done watching this movie. Because this is a movie I saw years ago. I had watched it one night with... I was hanging out with my mom and my dad and we, you know, they were watching old movies and this came on and watched it and uh, I hadn't seen it for a long time. And then uh, I just picked it up on this four pack recently and the movie I'm reviewing is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde with uh, Spencer Tracy and uh, Ingrid Bergman and Lana Turner. And I hadn't seen it in a long time and uh, when I sat down and, you know, started watching again, it's like, you know, honestly... I didn't really realize how actually disturbing this movie is. And, you know, for a movie from 1941, it is unsettling. And, oh, my God, does it hold up? You know, um, I mean, we all, I don't really need to go into too much of the detail of the story. We know the story. You know, you have Spencer Tracy here who does an amazing job. He gives a great performance. Um, I do have to admit, you know, real quick, I just have to say, I think, I kind of prefer this version a little bit more than the Frederick March, Frederick March version. I don't know. Just to me, that one seemed, it was a little unintentionally funny. I'm sorry, but just me. But I need to get that version, though. It's like, I, I have this one. I have the, uh, uh, the John Barrymore one. I have Edge of Sanity, where Anthony Perkins played. Jekyll and Hyde. I even have Jekyll and Hyde together again, which if you're ever in the mood for, you know, something really, really funny, uh, you know, you get a chance, watch Jekyll and Hyde together again. As a matter of fact, I think I might want to watch it after watching this movie because like I said, I didn't realize, I hadn't seen this in a long time and I didn't realize how disturbing this movie really is. Um, but anyway, though, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, like, sorry, just like I said, this movie kind of got to me. I didn't, really think it would but you know it's like the scene in Jekyll and Hyde together again where you have Elvira Cassandra Peterson she's playing a nurse you can't really see her because she's got the face mask on and stuff you know this guy's getting ready to get you know this guy's getting ready to get cut open it's just like oh gross you know but anyway uh <clears throat> of course you know based off the book by Robert Louis Stevenson which uh <clears throat> excuse me this is a pretty lavish production, you know, from 1941, and uh, it's a well-done production. Um, I will say, though, it, it is a loose adaptation of the book, which, I mean, let's face it, you know, back in those days, you know, the 30s, the 40s, and stuff like that, you didn't really get a lot of, you know, movies that would be, when they did an adaptation of from a book or whatever, you know, it's like they didn't really, you know, they didn't really, uh, you know, do a very faithful adaptation. They would always take all kinds of, liberties and stuff like that it would only be as time went on that you know movies when they do an adaptation of a book you know that they would do a more faithful version of it but still this is a very good adaptation but we know the story you know the story of dr jekyll <coughs> excuse me a scientist who's you know doing experiments you know with the mind and the soul and he wants to you know he's trying to come up with a formula that can, you know, uh, that can kind of segregate the, you know, the good and the evil and people and things. And, um, you know, he's, you know, he's trying to, you know, he's trying to tell everybody he wants to do this for the better man of mankind, but everybody is telling him, you know, you know, don't play God and, um, all this kind of stuff. And, you know, you really should not be experimenting with this stuff, you know, and, and you really should be, you know, just being a regular doctor and getting ready to get married and have a family and things like this. And, uh, you know, Spencer Tracy playing Dr. Jekyll and, and he's very badly wanting to marry his, um, he's very badly wanting to marry his, his fiance Beatrix played by Lana Turner, who, um, you know, is like, wow, you know, it's like, uh, one thing I will say is like, you know, yeah, I can understand the whole, you know, the reason why Lana Turner was such a, like considered such a goddess back in the day, and especially Ingrid Bergman and the, both of them in this movie, you know, it's like, yeah, it's not hard to watching this movie. It's not hard to see, you know, where, uh, why they were considered like such, you know, just like raving beauties and stuff. You actually get some risque kind of moments too. There's like one part in the movie where, when he's getting ready to turn into Dr. Jekyll and, and, you know, kind of like a lot of his, 
libidinous fantasies are coming, you know, you know, going through his mind, like, as one, you know, he's, he's fantasizing about himself whipping, like, like he's on a carriage, and he's, like, whipping horses, but instead of whipping horses, he's whipping, um, uh, Beatrix and Ivy, the character played by, excuse me, the character played by, uh, Ingrid Bergman, so anyway, so he wants, but he does want to marry Beatrix, but her father is, uh, you know, you know, he's kind of an old fuddy-duddy and, and he's like wanting them to, you know, really wait. And, and he's, you know, kind of like the threatening, in a way he's threatening Jekyll to, you know, that he's going to cancel the wedding if, if Jekyll doesn't give up his experiments and stuff. Um, and uh, at one point, uh, Jekyll and his friend, they, you know, they come across Ivy Peterson, who's a barmaid and she played by Ingrid Bergman. She's being attacked and she, uh, you know, they... Jekyll comforts her. They they take her back to her place, and and uh, Ivy becomes immediately uh, smitten with Doctor Jekyll, and she you know she uh, thinks you know like maybe he could be interested in her, and it's not that he's not interested, but you know he but the the thing is though it's like with Beatrix, uh, Jekyll you know he he feels love, and and uh wanting and everything else whereas with ivy it's more like he feels more lust you know so it's kind of you know a little bit of a difference there he's not you know he's not in love with ivy he he's not infatuated with her but but he is aroused by her where but with beatrix he's he is aroused by beatrix and stuff but he's very much in love with her and he wants to be with her and and marry her and and you know spend the rest of his life with her and things like this and um so at one point sir john beatrix's father decides they're going to go and take a trip and so the trip ends up taking a lot longer than they thought it would and so uh you know jekyll he decides you know he's going to go ahead and work on his experiment and you know, he takes his formula and of course we know how the story goes. He transforms into Mr. Hyde and then he goes and, um, you know, he goes and he seeks out Ivy at the bar that she's working at and he, you know, he's attacking people in the bar. He ends up getting Ivy fired and then he, uh, basically he puts her in a position where, um, she has really no choice, but, but has to rely on him. And then he ends up making her a prisoner and he ends up, um, you know, he, he puts her in a nice apartment, but the problem is, is this, you know, he, he puts her in a nice apartment, he's paying her bills and, and buying her food and all this other, but the problem is, is he ends up turning Ivy into a prisoner and where this, you know, story really, really gets disturbing is the, like one scene is the scene where, um, Ivy is, you know, we, we, you know, we find out she's been stuck in this apartment for a long time and she hasn't been able to go out. And we find out that, you know, Jekyll has been raping her and he's been beating her and and torturing her and doing all these horrible things to her and stuff like this. And, uh, you know, and there's a very intense, very like disturbing scene because, you know, it's uh, the acting between Spencer Tracy and, and Ingrid Bergman is unsurpassed. I mean, it's just amazing. I cannot... And like I said, watching it again, it's like I could not believe how just really uncomfortable I felt and how really just, just, oh, it was sickening almost to sit there and think of it, you know. But, um, and then, you know, just, yeah, I mean, you could tell. I mean, you could tell it bothered me, you know. It's like, it really is almost like watching somebody being, you know, abused. And, and you know, it's like nowadays, like this movie, like, yeah, even for 1941, this movie still, it's pretty strong sauce. And so, um, so it, you know, we find out that Beatrix and her father, they're coming home and they're going to, you know, and, uh, he's okayed their marriage. And so he, you know, so Jekyll, he decides he wants to, you know, pretty much just do away with the formula, stop the experiments. And he wants to let Ivy go and everything else. And then, um, so Ivy goes and, you know, and her friends, they tell her, you know, to go see Dr. Jekyll because he's a really good doctor. And, and so she goes to him and you kind of get the sense that maybe she might be putting two and two together that, that Jekyll is Hyde. But unfortunately, we find out, you know, unfortunately, she doesn't find it out. She doesn't, you know, latch on to the fact. And then um, when she goes and, and uh, you know, she goes to talk to him and she's she's 
so broken down and she's pleading with him and she's crying and, and it's, you know, it's, it, it really is, it's really hard to watch, you know, and she's begging him to, you know, because, you, you know, we as the audience, we know that Jekyll is Hyde. And so we know that, you know, n we know it's not going to end well. And of course it doesn't. And so, um, so you have like the scene where, um, you know, Ivy is, um, you know, Ivy is celebrating because, you know, Jekyll tells her that, you know, Hyde will never bother her again and all this kind of stuff. But unfortunately, you know, as we already know in the story, the story goes that eventually, even though Jekyll stops the experiments, you know, it's too late. Now he can, now it takes over and it's, you know, Hyde has taken him over. And so now there's that, there's that struggle between good and evil within Jekyll and Hyde, you know, and and so um, the scene where, you know, he goes to uh, where he turns into Hyde and he goes to see Ivy and he's terrorizing her and he's getting ready to murder her and stuff. It's definitely it's very unsettling. It's very hard to watch. But um, and then, of course, you know, like, yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. I mean, we, we know the story. We know what you know, we know what ends up going on and stuff. But uh, but wow, just like I said. I hadn't watched this in a long time and I'm actually surprised how unsettling it is even today, you know, and, and of course, you know, it's like, you know, we know, you know, there are stories of domestic abuse, you know, and stuff. It's been going on for ever, unfortunately, since the beginning of time. But, um, yeah, but I would definitely recommend, I would say, you know, kind of be a little bit prepared though, if you're going to get ready to watch this, because who, like I said, I didn't realize how strong this movie is even still today, but, uh, it is a really good film and it looks great, you know, even on this DVD and watch on, you know, it's like having it on my, uh, my 4k TV. It's like, wow, I'm surprised even just standard DVD. This is a really good edition of it, but, but it's still, it looks, you know, it's a beautifully shot movie. You can tell it's a very lavish production. A lot of, you see a lot of matte paintings in the background and stuff like that, but, oh man, still, but, um, uh, the acting is great. The cinematography is amazing. Everything else, this is such a well done film, and uh, I would I would strongly recommend it. But like I said, be ready. You know, it's like it's pretty intense. So, uh, but anyway, yeah. And uh, I would have to say, you know, like yeah, Spencer Tracy does a good job. Um, Lana Turner, she's great. But I would have to say, just my personal opinion, I think Ingrid Bergman she steals this movie. So everybody's good, but I think she really really tops it. So. So, uh, yeah, so that's it. So if anybody took the time to watch this, I thank you for doing it, and I appreciate you for doing it. I also hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Body Bags channel. We have a different reviewer, one for every day of the week. I'm the Saturday reviewer. We have a different bunch of guys, and everybody's, everybody's doing really good stuff. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. It's like I'm really, really happy to be in this group and be part in this company. And... Um, you know, yeah, so, so that's it, so, uh, take care, everybody, and, uh, I'll see you later.